might just have to come close because of the loud music though. And I'm out of breath because we've been squatting. Um, but we're looking at the GPR 378 power rack. This was the revision from a few years ago. Uh, they've got the box section safeties and the box section lift-offs. So heavy duty piece of kit. In here it's been used commercially for probably about six years. Um, and as you can see we've been squatting quite heavy and it's perfectly capable of taking it. Um, three by three box section for the uprights. Uh, also three by two for the, for the cross sections. Um, so heavy duty rack, very cheap for what is a full commercial frame. Uh, there's some failings in the design, uh, namely, if we have a look at the cross beam, it's perpendicular to the uprights. So because of that, if you're doing anything like squatting from the rear of the frame, you've got to have long safeties, long lift-offs to bring you out from the cross beam. Um, even squatting this, I keep catching my toes on that when we're squatting from the rear, so it's not ideal. Um, but the long lift-offs, do you feel like fat bar work or anything like that? At least they do fit on the long lift-offs. Um, so it would benefit for having shorter, li uh, shorter lift-offs and also if that cross beam was offset a bit. Um, likewise, where you've got the heavy duty box section now, um, with the box section safeties and lift-offs, you've got quite a large hold space in. So if someone's very particular about what height they're using the lift-offs or safeties, um, then you've got larger uh, increment change there. So a couple of design flaws, um, but all in all, for the price, it's a very good quality rack. Um, likewise with this cross beam, so just a normal timber. Um, personally, if it was, say, like a, a rack at home and you're looking for a power cage, I'll probably use something like the Barbarian line power rack just because it improves on those issues. So better crossbar with um, multiple angles for your chins. So you've got an offset cross beam, shorter lift-offs, um, that or an open rack. Even with um, body solid, if you're, if you're not necessarily after a power rack, then they got the GPR 370. So that's probably a, a better frame, uh, which is an open rack. Uh, but all in all, decent rack. Uh, there's just others I would perhaps go with. Um, after the, the last demonstration, pointing out the negatives of the rear, and I mentioned that you've got to do pressing from the front, I thought it best to demonstrate it. So, if you're doing a flat bench, then more often than not, you've got enough room with whatever bench to press from the rear. If you're doing an incline, you have to set it up, the lift off hooks are on this side. So I'll just demonstrate that now. Yeah, see, so it's perfectly possible to press from the rear, although that's a little unorthodox. So still a compromise using a rack like this. It's certainly not like using fixed Olympic flat incline or decline benches. Um, personally, I don't do decline, but if you were to do it on this rack, I would I'll drop the bar on the same. This is the best demonstrate yet, but if I were to do decline, then I'll simply stick the lift-offs on the front, pull the bench out. You won't have any safeties, but it's far easier lifting off here. And if you put them in the rear of the frame, you're going to be overreaching for the bar, and you're more likely going to do yourself a shoulder injury. So if you are to do decline, I'll do it off the front here.